The Spiritual Implications of Avatars, From Digital Simulations to Human Embodiment The ancient words Noli Me Tangere, Don't Touch Me, spoken by Jesus to Mary Magdalene after his resurrection, take on new meaning in our age of digital simulation. As technology advances to create increasingly sophisticated representations of the deceased, we find ourselves confronting fundamental questions about the nature of presence, embodiment, and spiritual authenticity. The contemporary development of AI avatars that simulate departed loved ones' presence not merely a technological challenge, but a profound spiritual and philosophical one that illuminates our understanding of human nature itself. Current technology allows the creation of digital avatars from the digital footprints of the deceased, their messages, recordings, and online activities. These constructs offer grieving families the illusion of continued connection, yet their interactions remain fundamentally constrained. The case of Jiang Ji Sung, a Korean mother reaching out to embrace the three-dimensional avatar of her deceased daughter, exemplifies both the power and the emptiness of these simulations. Her hands passing through empty air while confronting a seemingly perfect visual representation of her child encapsulates the essential paradox of digital resurrection. The religious context of Nolimi Tangere provides a crucial framework for understanding the limitations of technological simulation. While Jesus' words to Mary Magdalene acknowledged a transformed yet authentic presence, digital avatars attempt to recreate an unchanged version of the deceased. This distinction highlights the fundamental difference between genuine spiritual presence and technological simulation. Religious traditions have long maintained careful boundaries around questions of death and resurrection, understanding them as matters of divine rather than human agency. Examining digital avatars leads to a striking realization about human nature, we ourselves might be understood as a form of avatar, physical beings representing spiritual realities. Like their digital counterparts, humans often operate through conditioned responses and learned behaviors. Our social interactions can mirror the programmed exchanges of AI avatars, are you happy? Yes, suggesting that authentic presence requires transcending mere programming, whether digital or social. The concept of being born again provides a stark contrast to technological recreation. While digital avatars attempt to preserve an unchanged version of the deceased, spiritual transformation suggests the possibility of authentic change and renewal. This paradox reveals the limitations of technological approaches to human experience. True transformation, unlike simulation, involves fundamental change rather than mere replication. The emergence of digital avatars forces us to confront complex questions about the intersection of technology and spiritual experience. As we navigate in an increasingly digital world, the distinction between authentic presence and simulation becomes crucial. The challenge lies not in rejecting technological advancement, but in maintaining awareness of its limitations and preserving space for genuine spiritual encounter. The tension between simulation, and authentic presence defines our contemporary spiritual landscape. Digital avatars, while technologically impressive, ultimately highlight the irreducible nature of human spiritual experience. Their limitations point toward deeper truths about embodiment and presence. As we move forward in an increasingly technological age, maintaining awareness of these distinctions becomes essential for preserving authentic human and spiritual experience. The paradox revealed through this analysis suggests that true presence cannot be simulated or programmed, whether in digital or human form. Instead, it emerges through authentic engagement with the spiritual dimension of existence, transcending both technological and social conditioning to achieve genuine transformation and presence.